Hello everybody, I forgot to shoot an intro, so this is now my intro. So hello everybody, welcome to my June 2022 book haul. Here's what I got. Dane Reads. Yo, greets. I only have one book to update you on, uh, which is one that came in the post. And that is Harry Potter à l'école des sorcières. And um, it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, except it's in French, so it's called Harry Potter at the School of Wizards. Um, and I picked this up to kind of practice more of my French. I was trying to think of a book I could read in French that wouldn't, like, blow my mind, essentially. Like, I've tried reading Camus and that's a bit much, but I think Harry Potter, I can manage that. Who the fuck is that? Who is du Dubois? Oh, Oliver Woods. Oliver Woods, but it's Dubois. Cette balle s'appelle une soif, expliqua Dubois. Les poursuiveurs se passent le soif, les uns aux autres et essaient de le lancer à travers un de ces sacs d'or pour marquer un bout. So, um, the chasers pass the, what is it, the quaffle from one to the other and try to put it on through the other side of one of those uh, circles of gold to score a goal. Chaque but de rapport 10 points. Tu me suis? So each goal scores 10 points, you know, do you follow me? Very cool, all right, so that's gonna be interesting to see how they've translated some of the names, like Petunia is Petunia, Hedwig. <laughs> okay, so it might actually take me a while to kind of follow who, who's in it. Malafoy, Neville, a Crocdeur. Who the fuck is Crocdeur? <laughs> Greetings everybody. I have been needing to film this for quite some time and I'm finally gonna get to it I have a stack of books here. Some of these are from my trip to Paris. Some are the ones that I've received in the post We're gonna try and start with the French ones first so Here I have Asterix Max numero 9 et numero 11 um, Yeah, who's it by does it even say I don't think it even says um, but basically this is like Asterix graphic novels, adventures, you know, Asterix novelix are in there, and some puzzles and things like that. So, um, yeah, these will keep me busy in bed. Um, happy days. I do like some Asterix. Um, those are quite cool, actually, because I didn't realise. I thought they were just standard graphic novels, but actually they have some, as I say, puzzles and stuff in, so I can do those. I also picked up these four Isaac Asimov books, and I'm really excited about these, because these are all actually on my wish list in English. And I got these all from this used, um, most of these are from this used bookstore right around the corner of um, my hotel. For whatever reason, these three were all €1.50 each, and this was four fifty. But yeah, we have uh, Isaac Asimov, Les Vols Spatiaux Habité. Um... The habit, like the inhabited uh, spaceships. La course à l'espace de la rivalité à la coopération. So, you know, the story of space, kind of uh, rivalry and cooperation. La pollution de l'espace, the pollution of space. And la lune, which is the moon. So this is really cool. Um, and I, I am slightly worried because I don't have a huge amount of like space vocabulary. But these are also aimed at younger readers as well. So I want to read these. I want to read them in English and in French. But I might even read them in French first and then get the English ones. You know, just to make sure I haven't missed anything. What else have we got over here? Oh, here we have uh, Pif Le Chien. Les Aventures Aventure de Pif Le Chien. Uh, numéro 3, La Moi Diabolique. Um, so, The Adventures of Piff the Dog, The Devilish Wardrobe. Um, Piff Le Chant is quite a well-known one, so that's why I picked this one up. Only one euro. Uh, what else have we got? Alan Bennett, La Reine des Lectrices. Uh, so this is, I can't even remember what it's called in, in English. The, it's the one about the Queen. What is it called in English? Oh, The Uncommon Reader, that's the one. And so this, I guess, translates as like the Queen of books I don't know I don't know what lectrices means um, but yeah I do enjoy Alan Bennett and this is quite a short read as well so it'd be interesting to read that we have Méfiez vous des abeilles uh, by R.L. Stein so this is uh, why I'm afraid of bees essentially um, from the Goosebumps series and again this one should be a nice easy one to read I've also read it in um, English as well 
Although I don't know it as well. So this is where my, my tests are coming in because I read Harry Potter recently. And obviously I know the story of Harry Potter fairly well. I also got La Ferme des Animaux by George Orwell, Animal Farm. I got Morsel Nil, uh, which is Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. And I actually bought this just before getting on um, a cruise of the Seine as well. So that was kind of cool. What else we got here? These are all my English ones. Okay, and then finally I got Cimetière by Stephen King. So this is Pet Cemetery. This one is going to be a, a real challenge because it's 650 pages of French. Um, but yes, obviously Pet Cemetery. And the cool thing about this is I bought this at the Catacombs as well. So yeah, very exciting. So then we have the English language ones. So I got this from the book exchange at the, my local Tesco. This is Douglas Adams and Mark Carwardine, Last Chance to See. Um, and this is basically, it's like a book about biology, basically. Douglas Adams teams up with zoologist Mark Carwardine on an expedition to find out what's happening to life on this planet. So yes, that's been on my list for a while. I got Poetry in Motion by Alan Bennett. Um, so this is him looking at the lives and stuff of some other poets, uh, like John Betjeman and stuff like that. Um, Alan Bennett, basically I have this big list of authors I want to read and Alan Bennett comes first alphabetically and because I'm doing alright on my list of books at the moment I don't really have like specific authors where I need to get their books for whatever reason so I just treated myself you know to Bennett, I'm trying to tick off all the Bennett so in actual fact I also have here Alan Bennett plays number two Kafka's Dick, The Insurance Man, The Old Country, An Englishman Abroad and A Question of Attribution I love the colour of this as well, very nice pink colour I also, for my birthday, I was given from my dad an Amazon voucher, so one of the Alan Bennett's came from that. I also put that towards Between Hell and Reason by Albert Camus. This is Essays from the Resistance newspaper Combat. Um, I'm not sure how readable this is going to be. I guess we'll find out. It's actually not too long anyway. It's only about 150 pages. Um, and, you know, in fact, it's less than that because it doesn't actually start until page 40. All of the stuff before that is like the pre-matter. But yeah, I want to read all of Camus' work at some point. And then I picked up The Cowardly Line of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson because Joel Swagman and I here on BookTube have been doing a buddy read of this series. Um, although Joel's super far behind, so there's no pressure for me anymore to read at like certain times and stuff, which is quite nice. It means I can just sort of pick them up as and when I get a chance. So, um, so yes. I got that. Sorry, I'm just picking at a label here. Oh, I didn't really... Uh, any, anyway. Then I got The Road to June by Frank Herbert, Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. And I'm excited... Jesus Christ, that smells horrible. That has been in somebody's garage. Oh. Oh, I can smell it from like there. I'm going to have to read it like this. Oh. Oh. But yes, anyway, this is... Um, it's like a companion bit, so it's got some uh, excerpts from the original June books that weren't actually used, some letters and things, a bit of a biography and some unpublished short stories as well. And this is the last June book that I haven't read. I've read all the official series, so I've just got this now. Um, and then I have Zoe Brooks' Fool's Paradise. So this was sent to me um, by Isabel Kenyon of Fly on the Wall Poetry Press. Uh, she's put, thank you for agreeing to review Fool's Paradise. Oh, that's nice. You're welcome, Zoe. Um, it's a mystical poem for voices inspired by a visit to Prague after the Velvet Revolution. So yeah, that's very cool. Looking forward to getting to that. It looks almost, it's almost got the layout of a play. So that's very cool. I've read some Zoe Brooks before and enjoyed it as well. And I think, unless I'm missing any, I think that's it. So now I have to just go and add all of these to Goodreads and actually read the things. Greetings, it is me. Uh, I have some books to report to you. The first is a job lot I won on eBay. So these are all Spike Milligan. So, we, oh, actually, no, this one is Alan Bennett, Objects of Affection and Other Plays for Television. That's one that I bought on eBay specifically. Um, and then this is my job lot. So we have The Goon Show Companion, Roger Wilmot and Jimmy Grafton, A History and Goonography. Thank you for that cat. We have the Spike Milligan Letters, edited by Norma Farns. I happen to have already read those. Uh, and then we have uh, the Goon Show script, written and selected by Spike Milligan, uh, file number one. Uh, the Goon Show, more Goon Show scripts, written and selected by Spike Milligan, file number two. Spike Milligan, The Q Annual, which I may have read, I can't remember. And then we have The Book of the Goons. Um, which is by Spike Milligan and various others. 
I don't know if it actually says who it's specifically edited by Elizabeth Rose. So yes. And then funnily enough, while I was in um, the charity shop today, because I'm starting to donate some of my stuff to have a bit of a clear out, I found Spike Milligan More Goon Cartoons, illustrated by Pete Clark. And then I also picked up God Is Not Great by Christopher Hitchens. Very exciting. Uh, I've never read Hitchens before, but I admire the man. And then Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens, which I basically got because people keep going on about this book, so I thought I should probably read it. So that's me lot for today. Hello people of the internet, um, I've got some more books because I went to the charity shop again because I'm, you know, donating stuff to them basically and I'm, <laughs> every time I go I'm taking a rucksack full and a canvas bag full of stuff and then coming home with more stuff. So today I, I got a vinyl from The Goon Show which is Spike Milligan and Peter Sellers and all those lot and then I got these three Peter James books so I actually got my Goodreads out in the charity shop to see if I'd read any of these and these are all on my wish list so I got Dead If You Don't Dead at First Sight, and then Absolute Proof. Um, so these two are Roy Grace books, and then this one I don't think it is. I think it's just a standalone. But with the Roy Grace books, they're all called like Dead If You Don't, Dead at First Sight, Love You Dead, all of this stuff. And so because the names of them are so similar, I have to check Goodreads, otherwise I have no idea whether I've written them or uh, read them or not, you know? So yeah, that's where I'm at, or what I've been doing. In fact, today is the last day of the month, so that seems like a good place to, as always, say thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.